Hello, it's the Sarah at My Crafty Corner. Thank you so much for stopping by. All right, so this is going to be the third part of our flip-flop journal. And I've already gotten a couple of the signatures together, but I also have this little envelope. And this is one that some mail came in. It's not a extra one that they had in there. So when I, you know, cut it open, it's got this on the back. So what we're going to do is I want to line the inside of this, but I want to keep the window. So I cut a piece down that's going to fit on the inside like that, that you're going to see. And then I'm going to, so what I've done to figure out how I want this window to be, I've also coffee and tea stained me some papers. I have a, a stack here. So just, you know, some random, some dot paper, some um, book pages, some just a couple, just a couple of like lined paper. Um, I left the little thingies on. And then a few um, of these. Now I used a thin, probably, Probably a 20 pound paper. Um, and you can see the difference between the coffee stain and the tea stain. Tea is very light, which is what I'm gonna use here. All right, so then, whoops, um, cause I needed extra, so I went ahead and I done that. And that's a process, tea, okay. So my hands, if you see that they are stained, that is why, cause they are stained. Anyways, so to do the window, I looked to see if I have a die that I could possibly use to cut out. Now this one is, you know, too small, but I think I can figure it out how I can do it without um, having to actually run it through my trimmer. Um, even if you could run it through your trimmer, if you were just doing a smaller portion of it, you could just like put it in here and run it just so far and then move it over to where you need it to be and then run it so far. But this one actually is gonna cut on the inside, so it would actually leave a little bit of a, a border on the outside, which would be fine, but I'm just gonna trace mine and try to cut it out that way. So I have me a piece of this paper here. I've already cut this one down and it's gonna go on the inside here. And I still haven't decided if I want to make this a pocket like a, a top loading pocket because I'm actually gonna, cause I thought I could hinge this onto um, a page, but I think I might just make it a flip out. So like have it like this, but then it'll flip, you know, flip open. So it'll be in there and, and you'll have both. So anyways, we'll, we'll see. And then I might do like a pocket here at the bottom or something, that would be cute. Okay, so here's what we want to do, because I want a piece to cover this side and this side. And then the back side, I will worry about after I get it hinged in. I guess really it wouldn't matter. We'll see. We'll just see about that part. But for now, here we're going to go do this. Now, I know I want this sheet to go on the inside. I don't know which one I want to go on the outside yet. Um, you could, I guess, take the this part off, but then I feel like you would probably tear it, and that might make like too much of a mess. Yeah, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Because this paper's big enough, I'm just gonna kind of measure, I mean, this is uh, about five, it's five eighths. This is a half, so a half from the top. And from that, it's hard to see that bend line right there actually. So I'm guessing probably five, yeah, five eighths on the sides here, okay? Face it this way to me. So let me mark, cause I know it's there, there, so that would be right, right there. Um, I'm going to mark in, 
I'm gonna go an extra eighth because that way then, like I said, if I have that hanging out the side, it'll be okay. And then I can always cut or trim that piece off, right? So let me do, so we're gonna go to uh, three quarters instead of five eighths. Okay. And then from the top, it would be right, but yeah, okay. So let me go there to these new mark lines here. That way now if I get it crooked, I'm okay. And I'm only actually gonna trace this side here And the top because I need to move it over about a quarter of an inch to be the size of this window. So from where I just marked that line, I'm gonna mark it a quarter and then I'm gonna move it down here and do the same thing. That way I don't get it crooked. Okay, and then I'm going to line this up top to bottom of this line here, and then the side with these marks here. Okay. Like that. And then we can erase these more. Actually, we can, when we cut it out, we can use the back side, so we ain't really got to worry about, um, the marks because we're gonna do do it at a um, five eighths on this side. I'm actually gonna go three quarters just to give myself just a little bit extra. Um, let's see. This is well. Let me get on camera. This one is so. Mm, almost four and a half. So I'm gonna just go not quite to four and a half. Okay. And then I'm gonna trim that off. So I don't know if you can see where I'm gonna trim it to. And it it's probably not gonna turn out exactly perfect because, I mean, this is just a um, wrinkled piece of <laughs> coffee stain paper. But as long as I get it somewhat, I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in just a hair bit more on this side. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, Actually, you know, I probably could have just measured this one. Hmm. All right, let's see. So this side I need to trim off about an eighth. To what it would be. Oh yeah, that's that's well, pretty darn perfect, I think. Just pull it up slightly. Oh yeah, cause so I think that's gonna line up just right. So I'm gonna leave it in there like that. Making sure it's as far to that inside as I can. And then I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna mark the outside then. Okay. 
and then I can just cut that um, where I need it there. And then I'm debating on, I think I may go ahead and cover the front. Um, actually, no, that one's not gonna be the right size because I probably cut that a little too big. Um, let's grab another one. I'll keep that for a scrap piece. Um, at least I think I want to cover that. Do I want to? I don't know yet. Hang on, let's see. Let me, um, I may stick this in, attach it down, and then just cut cut it with my scissors that way. Um, I am gonna kinda trim off the bottom just a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, okay? Put that in my scrap bin. Let me, oh, uh, let's see, can I do, I can do this with my trimmer. Um, because I can see with the little points, we can line up my little lines here and I can know exactly where I'm cutting to pretty much. Right, I think that's good. And then I can just go in with my, well, that's already came out pretty much all the way. I can just go in with my scissors then and trim off, you know, snip that little bit instead of tearing it. Come on. Like that. And then do the other side. Like that. All right. And then we will put this one in and we'll put it down on something else and make a pop. We're gonna make a copy. We're gonna copy it out. But then we can still use this little piece too. So I didn't wanna just like exit out and waste all my hard work on my coffee stained papers. Um, and now it's not exactly perfect, okay? And we can't ink this, I forget, cause it's that thing. But I'm okay with that. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna fuss with that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And um, I will kind of erase the lines just a little bit in case when I glue it down, it just happens to, for some reason, show through the other side, because you never know. You never know. Okay. And now all we got to do is glue this down to here. What I am going to do really quick, because if this is going to fold open like that, I'm going to take my vintage photo and I'm going to ink the inside part of this so that if it does show, at least it will be a color and not just that black and white. And I'll do that on both sides. I mean, I think I've got my paper to go like pretty much right to it, but just, just to be on the safe side, you know? And the reason I'm using coffee stain on the inside of that is because I don't really know if if I want to do like a pocket on there and have all the pretty pretty stuff on the front. So just using just using those. And too because I just you know spent all that time making them. So why not do that? Okay. So we should line up just right. I'm not gonna really worry so much about everything else, mainly about my window. Okay. And I'm gonna use a Fabri-Tac just because that's what I'm gonna use. Let me get a paper towel real quick to wipe off my, the top part where it's gotten all yuck, nasty. There we go. All right. All right, so let's see if we can't get this lined up on here. I'm working with the window part lining up first.
to get my, my little, and kind of squish it. Yeah, oh, well, I don't really want it squished out here in the window. And it is a little... It's being crunchy, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, and then this one is going to line up just right up to that. And we'll just go ahead and glue it down too while we're at it. Now this one, I'm going pretty much right up to that and right to the edges because I had cut this one down to fit just perfect. I don't mind so much this hanging off the edge though. I kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of wish I'd have done that one that way, too. I may leave that for now. Before I go cutting it off, because... Isn't that pretty? This envelope, too, has got, like, a texture... A texture to it. Um, all right, so let's see. What do I want to put on the front? Oh, you know what I was gonna do? Boy, I tell you what, I just jumped that gun really quick after I said, we're gonna use this for a template. Well, we're not anymore, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's already attached. Wow, okay, okay, let's see. I can do the other again, it'd be no big deal. Um, let me find what I want to go on there. So I think I'm going to cover this entire side with the coffee stained. I may wait and cover the back side. I may just cover the front side and then wait and cover the back side when I put it in. use a lighter one. I don't, well, I don't know. That would be too matchy-matchy, wouldn't it? Maybe I do need to use a darker one. Okay. Um, what did I do? There it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to lay this one down on the coffee stain paper or tea because I can't remember which is which on some of them. Um, and I just kind of threw them all together. I didn't really keep up with what was what. I'm going to just tear that off. And I'm also just gonna line this one up and tear it so then I know exactly where I need it to be. Okay. Keep those scraps. Okay, and then, so this is gonna, it's gonna put it just a hair. I think it'll be okay, let's go. So I wanna go a hair, I wanna have it a hair this way. So I wanna go in right at I'm actually going to do this way. I think it'll be easier. I'm going to go five eighths. That's one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to line that up down the whole length of the paper here. Five eighths. And then at the top, 
That was a half, so I'm also going to go five eighths. All right, so then I've got those mark, marks on here, and I'm actually going to array because this is going to stick out a little bit, remember? Oh, goodness. Here, him running through the house. He came up to me. He says, I'm bored. All right. Then we're going to bust out the trimmer again. Let me just... Gonna be perfect. Um, for this side, we can ink the little corners and then just wipe the ink off the what you call it spot. There we go. Okay, and then bust out the trimmer again. See how good we did. Or was it supposed to go this side? Or does it really matter? Yep, I think so. I'm gonna have to erase these lines, but that's okay. And I will go through and ink. All of that so that part that you see that sticks out because it's not perfect by any means will not show and I'm just oop, without breaking it I'm just gonna erase those lines and Clearly, I don't know how to race. Okay, so there's that. And then we're just going to stick this down. Get all my pencil thingies off. And I'm just going to use my diaper tack again. I wish I could have inked that side like I did this one. I think that looks a little better, but, you know, it is what it is. My cutting wasn't exactly perfect, and that's fine. And I feel like some of this has not got enough blue or at least it dried probably didn't have enough to the edge and whatever's extra on that side I can always go in there and trim that off okay Okay, so there's that. Let me put my die back before I misplace it. I don't want to do that. And now I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this one. And we may just have it. Hmm. I kind of want to get to the back side because it doesn't have as many. No way, thank you. you know what I mean? But it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. Hmm. God, he's, he's having a good time. See, because if you go to put it in like that, it's gonna really stick out. So I may have just made it for nothing. I may have to tear the side down just a little bit. Cause it's actually, I think it's a little bit bigger or it's like right. It's 
going to be too long to fit in there. Oh, I might could trim that down. No, because nobody says it has to be this big, do they? I could cut, I could trim that off the top, make it match, and then trim down the whole thing and have it as a part of, oh, that's cute. Okay, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. Here, hang on. Let me go. Let me put it back here and see where we need to trim it at. Um, because you want it to go in there pretty decent. So, probably about a half inch or more off of that. Um, well, as bad as I don't want, I don't, I like that on the top. I think I'm gonna, I'm think I'm gonna cut it down. And it's just a coffee stain. It's not like it's. Right. Okay, and then trimming this down. Let me put this in my trimmer. Oh, goodness. Let's see. What I say? A half inch. We'll go. We'll go a half first. Let's see what that does. Bingo. Oh, perfect. 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 Okay, yeah. That is just gonna be perfect. That's what we're that's what I'm gonna do back there in the envelope part. And we can make because that's that has plenty of room in there and that gives us space so we can actually add so we may actually add a signature in here. Yeah, that would be and have like a little extra an extra bit in that. That'd be so cute. Okay. That'll work. So now I'm just gonna figure out what I want in here. Hmm. I don't know where I'm at. I don't even know what time it is, really. I'm all wonky. I'm sideways. Okay, well, I think maybe, because I'm already at an hour, so I think maybe I'll cut that and then, uh, you know, call it this one done. And maybe we will do, um, yeah, we'll do the signature in this one. And we'll also do, um, I might go ahead and do the signature for this one. And then do this one on, finish this one up on camera. And I, I think I'm going to have to go in and trim. Trim some of those down because they're getting to be a little bit. Um, maybe... Especially this one. That's the center one. Let me just go ahead and do that Ugh, while I'm on here. Can you see what I mean? Because it's like that one is too, but I've got it folded. The way I've got it folded, I don't think that's going to work. But this one's getting all ratty on the end. It's been driving me nuts, I think. This may be a little over an eighth, but about, about something like that. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. All right, so next thing up signatures for this one and for this one and then the fun decorating going through and just figuring out you know like what we want to go on the front side here and I'm so excited all right so if you like this video um please give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell you'll be notified when i do upload videos um and thank you so much for watching bye